Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another Quake tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to reinstall the Microsoft Store in Windows 10 if you're experiencing issues with it. So this should hopefully be a fairly straightforward tutorial, guys, and without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So we're going to start off by opening up the Start menu, type in Windows PowerShell. Best result, should go back with Windows PowerShell. Go ahead and right click on that and select Run as Administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, go ahead and select yes. Now into this elevated command line window, I want you guys to copy a command I have in the description of my video, and then go up to the top bar of the Windows PowerShell window here, right click on it, select edit, and then select paste to paste it in. Hit enter your keyboard to run this first command here. It will take a couple moments to run, so please be patient. And then once that one has completed, and this is indicated by a blinking cursor here at the end, I'm going to show you guys uh, another command, and that will be also in the description of the video, so copy that. And then same procedure as the first command, we're going to go up to the top bar of this PowerShell window, right click on it, select edit, and then select paste to paste that one in as well. And then you're going to hit enter. And then once you have a blinking cursor, go ahead and close out of here, and we're going to go restart our computer. Okay, so once we're back in Windows, go ahead and see if the Windows Store is working properly. And if for some reason you're still having a problem with that, another thing we can go ahead and try here would be to open up the Star Menu again. Type in RegEdit, so R-E-G-E-D-I-T. Best results should come back to Registry Editor. You want to go ahead and right click on that and select Run as Administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt during this process, you want to go ahead and select OK for that. And before we proceed in the registry, I would suggest that we create a backup of it. So if anything were to go wrong, we could easily restore it back. In order to create the backup, it's very simple. You just would go ahead and select the File tab, and then Export. File name, I would normally recommend naming it the date in which you are making the backup. Export range should be selected to all, and then save it to a convenient location on your computer. And if you ever need to import it back in, such as if you made a mistake, you could select File and then Import and just navigate to the file location like I said, so pretty straightforward process. And now we're ready to begin, so go ahead and double click on the HK Local Machine folder. Do the same thing now for the System folder. 
Same thing now for current control set. Double click on that. Now there should be a services folder under here. So double click on that one as well. And now look for something that says app X S V C. So you might have to scroll down a little bit here. So again, app X S V C. Just left click on that one time. And if you need to pause the video and take note of our file path, or it's up at the top of the screen here. Each backslash is a different folder we've gone under to get to this point. And now, like I said, directing our attention over to the right side, you want to locate the start D word values. So go ahead and double click on that. If the value data is set to anything other than the number two, you want to delete whatever number's in here and type the number two. So don't spell it out phonetically, just type the number two and then like you see on my screen here select OK and then once you've done that you're going to have to go ahead and restart your computer at this point so again you can close out of the registry editor restart your computer and that should be about it so as always thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial do hope that I was able to help you out and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial goodbye